fire. Her comrades call her the witch. Why I have this call sign is a secret, and I've already said I'll reveal this secret after the war is over. But to give you a hint, it's because I can set the sky on fire. Bihar is from the Donetsk region. She moved to Kyiv in 2014 after Russia-backed separatists started hostilities in Donbass. In Kyiv, Bihar worked as a lawyer. But the day after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Bihar joined the army, leaving her family behind. As she fights, her seven-year-old son waits for her at home. He knows what I'm doing and he supports me. He says he's proud of me. Bihar's military service began with the liberation of the Kyiv region in April 2022, shortly after the start of the war. The following November she joined the artillery troops and was quickly promoted to mortar battery commander. In artillery troops I found my soulmates with whom I could build an effective unit. So, when the position in the mortar battery became vacant, I immediately transferred. Bihar is in charge of a battery of six motors. I see it. We're about to start. What I do is I calculate all the corrections and protractors, as well as take part in building a whole motor system. Bihar says the most important thing she learned on the job is to trust her gut. You just get this gut feeling, and if it seems to you that something is off, you have to listen to your intuition. And that is especially true when you're in the military. As of January, more than 45,000 women were serving in Ukraine's armed forces, according to the Defense Ministry. About 13,400 women were in combat roles, and more than 4,000 were deployed in combat. Anna Kostychenko for VOA News, Donetsk region, Ukraine.